Hi guys, good morning. Those are my beautiful flowers, the orange ones, the red, they're white too, but my favorite are the orange. They're birthday flowers and they finally bloomed fully and they just look so pretty. I just want to squeeze them. Um, I love them. And I also got that really cool bottle of wine. It's actually from a friend's um, wine um, brewery. Is it, Are they considered brewery? It's a winery. Okay, he owns a wine shop and he made some fruit wine for me. I like collecting bottles for decoration. Uh, so if you guys want to send some, send some. Okay, I'm going to try all your guys' homemade wine. This video, though, I realize that it's almost the end of November and I still have not made this very requested video. So, no, not November. What do I think about it and what do I think of people practicing no, not November? So, obviously, no, not November is geared more towards men, although women can do it as well, but I feel like it's geared more towards men, right? You restrict taking care of business for a whole month. What do I think about that? I think it is crazy. I think it's unhealthy. I don't think it benefits men at all. Some men that I know, they're like, oh my god, I feel so good after no, not November. And it's like, yeah, you feel good because you didn't have that amazing thing for a month. And then when you did, you felt amazing. That's why it feels good. It's kind of like going on a crappy diet where you can't have bread and you can't have donuts and you can't have fruit and you can't have delicious carbs and that's all you're thinking about. If you do that for a month, obviously when you have a donut at the end of the month, it's going to feel amazing. You know, you're going to feel um, like, like you have lowered your stress levels because you have, because you built up the stress on yourself by restricting this thing that your body needs, you know, it, it's, it's a need. Um, carbs are a need as taking care of personal business, guys. If you don't take care of yourself, and everybody has different needs, okay? I personally, once a day, at the very minimum, the days that I don't set my alarm in time to get my workout in and, you know, get ready, you know, shower and do my makeup and get ready to go out, I don't have time to take care of business and I notice that those days the entire day there's like a tingling sensation in my body that's just like you know you need it you need it get what you need because you didn't take care of yourself so it's a constant reminder in the back of your brain like hello when are we taking care of business because you're human and you have needs and they have not been met same as if you haven't had you know carbs it's the same thing so do I recommend it? No, I don't think so. I know a lot of men say, you know, that they notice health benefits. I doubt it. I I know that a lot of men say they feel really good when they're doing no nut. I doubt it. And I know a lot of men say that they feel really normal when they're doing it. They feel that, you know, nothing is missing in their life. They they don't have that urge. First of all, if you don't have that urge during no nut, you really need to go <laughs> to the doctor because if you're a young man still and you have, you know, a normal urge, everything is functioning, and then you go on no nut for a month and you have zero urges, you should really get your testosterone levels tested, okay? That is not normal to not have urges. Now, there are other men that have really bad urges and sometimes don't make it halfway through the month. And to those guys, I applaud you because you realize that, hey, my body needs this and I need to take care of it. Such as when a woman goes on a dumb diet or a man and they're like, you know what, screw this, I'm going to have a piece of fruit, my body needs it, my brain is crying out for this apple that I supposedly can't have because it's dumb, right? That's a dumb plan. Your body will override your, your wants and take care of your needs. Now, if your body isn't overriding those wants, then... You need to, if you're a man and you have no urges, go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. It's not normal to not have any urges for an entire month. Now, if you're a man and you're telling me you have urges that so you can kind of push through them and you feel that you are fairly normal around women, then I think you should ask the women around you if they think that you're normal. Because I've known a lot of guys who are like, yeah, I feel completely normal during No Nut November. And then the women in their lives, their coworkers, their wives, their daughters are like, this person is frazzled and they're stressed the hell out. They're, you know, really quick to anger and to react to certain situations. And it's because they're building up that stressor in their body from doing no nut. Also, I've noticed that when men do no nut November, they will become more sexually alert, I guess, because let me, let me just give you a quick example. So when I was in the military, I joined the Navy 
years ago. So when I joined, all the women looked kind of boyish, right? We had to get our hair cut till about our ears. We weren't allowed makeup. We weren't allowed, you know, to wax our eyebrows. And I remember I was trying to look cute at boot camp because that's what I I like looking, you know, presentable. So I was trying to look cute. I was brushing my hair and take care of it, and they took my hairbrush away. And we looked crazy, okay? I basically got everybody in trouble. All the girls, 100 plus girls that I was with, we got our hairbrush taken away. So we looked extra crazy. Now, the boys were separated, right? The men were separate from us, same, about 100, 150 men. And when we finished the eight weeks of, you know, being in boot camp and not being able to really see and interact with the opposite sex, everyone's standards had dropped a lot. Okay, everyone's standards had dropped a lot, especially men. So I noticed that the men that were in boot camp would just screw anyone. I mean, they would, you know, anything that moved really, it didn't matter what that woman looked like. They could have dated models before boot camp. And as soon as those eight weeks were over, dramatically lower standards. Why? Because their body's like, dude, you need to get your rocks off. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Get your rocks off, right? So the body is smart. I think a lot of the times humans think that we can, you know, outsmart our body and that's not how our body works. Our body is smarter than us, even though we may not realize it. So I personally say don't practice snow net November because you're just going to become, it's going to become like a vicious cycle of you thinking sexual thoughts. And when you finally get your hand on it, on sex or getting your rocks off or whatever you're used to, it may become more addictive because like I'm like I'm I'm using the example of a diet, right? When a person can't have certain food and at the end of the month they're allowed to, a lot of people develop, you know, for example, binge eating disorder where they can't stop feeding themselves. They eat until they make themselves sick because they were not allowed that treat or that type of food for so long. So it's the same with anything, especially sex, because food and sex are humans' primary needs. So please Take care of your primary needs because you may not notice it, but the rest of us do, okay? I can easily spot out a guy who's doing no, not November. He looks frazzled. He looks stressed. You know, every little thing um, gets to him, even emotionally. And men are usually not very emotional, but during no, not, a lot of men are. You know, they'll, they'll be very quick to anger or they'll be even quick to cry, which is kind of odd. I don't know how that works. Um, but if you're a guy and you're practicing no nut November and you do notice some benefits, I really want to know about them because I'm going to do a little bit of more research and see if any of it is actually true. So let me know down below. I'm very curious to see. Also, if you're a woman and you're practicing no nut November, let me know also because I personally don't. I need to get my needs taken care of, you know, my healthy breakfast, my daily movement, and taking care of my womanly feminine needs in the morning, every day, you know, whether it's in the morning or in the PM, every day at least once. So women, if you're practicing, also let me know down below. I'm quite curious. I'll leave you guys alone now. I hope you have a wonderful hump day. Take care.